Hello everyone. Today in this video, we are starting with the disablement models. So basically, these models we are using for the assessment purpose and for the treatment plan of the patient. So in these models, total we have three models that is NAGI model, ICIDH model and ICF model. The ICF model which is also known as ICIDH2 model. Okay, so in exam, if you are asking for ICIDH2, you have to write about the ICF model. Okay, so both ICF and ICIDH2 that are the same. So in this video, we are just to discuss with the first that is NAGI model. And in second video, we are discuss further. So for the NAGI, NAGI name person, it, this model is G1. So its name is NAGI model and which is G1 in 1965 by NAGI. So what he considered that the pathology, impairment, functional limitation and disability. Now clear one by one. First is pathology. Pathology means any interruption or interference of normal bodily process or structures. That means the person is normal but any interruption occur in the day to day life or the body structure of the patient that condition is known as pathology second is impairment impairment are losses or abnormalities of physiological psychological or anatomical structure or function of the body that means uh, further one example is given so in that i will clear more about you about the impairment but now for the losses of any physiological psychological or anatomical structure or the function that called as impairment third is functional limitation it is the restriction of the ability to perform a physical action, activity or task in an efficient, typically expected or competent manner. That means due to impairment, the person is not able to do the day-to-day -day life activity and that is what as a functional limitation by Nagy. Last is disability, that it is the inability to engage in age and gender specific role in a particular social context of physical environment. That means if patient age is not uh, 60, but patient age is 40. So that means patient is able to do all the activities, but due to its functional limitation and impairment, patient is can't able to perform the social contents or physical environmental activity. So according to Nagy, is called as a disability now the example first is definition reference and example definition active pathology that means intrinsic pathology or disorder so pathology in cell the example is third degree ACL tear due to that patient is physical impaired that is anatomical physiological or mental or emotional abnormality so in that in this condition the anatomical loss is present that is what at the tissue organ or body system level so example is Lechman test positive in the person with the knee flexion is 80 degree so this is what at the structural level problem so that is anatomy then functional limitation due to third degree ACL tear patient is unable to do run and inability to jumping this is what about the functional limitation of the patient according to Nagy and last what it is disability that means the restriction at the society level so due to third degree cell tear patient is unable to play basketball this is what about the disability by the neck so pathology loss of muscle or atrophy of muscle impairment cannot flex hip functional limitation is problems with gait and disability that is problem in walking due to muscle or tightness or any kind of atrophy present in the muscle due to that patient is uh, uh, having problem in walking stair climbing or ramping so that is what about the disability by Nagy model the next is ICIDH which is given in 1980 and that ICIDH and ICF model we will discuss in the next video. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you like my video, please do subscribe my channel for more videos.